Hi, my name is Rodney Hill. In this video, we're going to talk about some advanced wireless settings available on our ICB and ITB tools, as well as do a little bit of wireless diagnostics to see what our signal strength looks like in the real world. So I'm going to jump into the tool software here. I'm on the home screen. I'm going to go to our settings menu. I'm going to choose my wireless client mode, and you can see I'm already connected to a little network that I've set up here. Um, I can see all the different settings here in our security settings. We have a lot of different authentication and encryption types that are available. Um, these are something that you would need to get from your, your IT group generally to know which, which type you would use and what the credentials are for the tool. Down here at the bottom, we have some additional settings that I want to talk about. One of the things we can do is we can actually have an event when the signal strength on the tool reaches a certain, a certain DBM value. So the DBM scale is a negative scale. So right now I have this set at negative 60. So if the tool drops to say negative 61 or negative 70 or, or any further down, you'll get an event saying the tool passed your, your wireless uh, threshold. This can be good for troubleshooting. If you have an area maybe where wireless coverage is, is good at some times but not so good at other times, you can see events and let you know maybe certain times of the day or something you're having issues in these areas. One of the other things we have here at the bottom is we have an option to connect to a hidden Wi-Fi network. If you have a hidden SSID, um, maybe where your name doesn't broadcast, you'll need to enable this option so that the tool searches for, for hidden SSIDs. Otherwise, you can leave this, this off for now. My, tool, my network is broadcasting the name here, so I'm not using this feature at this time. So I'm going to hit undo here because I'm going to leave everything set the way that it was set. I'm going to go back to my last screen. And again, I could see that I'm connected here. Everything looks good. I have an IP address and the settings and everything are here. The MAC address can also be seen here. Uh, I know some customers require having the MAC address for filtering on their network. If you need that information, that can be seen here. And then we're gonna jump in here and now we're gonna take a look, little look at some wireless diagnostics, right? So one of the challenges we see with wireless tools is that often they're very dependent on having good wireless coverage. And what good wireless coverage is can vary depending on the application um, and how the tool is used. So what we've, what we've added in the ICB and the ITB tools is a screen that gives us the ability to monitor that. So if we type in here a different URL on the tool, I'm going to go to my IP address of the tool. I'm going to add slash service. And I'll see here there's some, some servicing information here that's used by our techni technicians to service the tool. But one menu I want to look at here is called diagnostic. And when I look at the diagnostic menu here, what I see is my wireless settings, right? And I also see we're plotting the wireless signal strength every second. So you can see on this graph here that I have, I'm bouncing between about negative 41 and maybe negative 43 dBm um, for my connection. And that's generally a very good signal. If you have a signal in the negative 40 range, that's great. Um, if you have a signal that gets higher than negative 60 or, or even worse, higher than negative 70, it becomes more difficult and the tool has to try to retransmit packets more often, and that can affect the operation if that gets bad enough. The great thing about this mode is you can actually run this on the tool with a web interface or a tablet, walk around with the tool and test the Wi-Fi and see how the tool sees the, sees the Wi-Fi in your area. So you know, it's very important that we make sure that the wireless coverage is actually good at the application. And while the coverage might be good in that area in general, sometimes when you're inside of a medical, metal vehicle or a metal airplane or something, you may see that signal degrade as it tries to go through metal. So this gives you a good way to see what your wireless signal is like. And I really hope these advanced tools will be, uh, be beneficial and be something that, that's very useful. So this has been coverage of some of our advanced wireless settings and diagnostics. If you have any questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. And thanks for watching.